Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. So recall that uh, now I want to connect uh, models of uh, the concepts models of finite length, Noetherian models and Artinian models. So let us recall that, so A is always our base ring, commutative always, so I will not keep writing commutative, so it is by understood A is our base ring is commutative and V is an A module. When do you say V is Noetherian? That is if and only if V has ACC on submodules. That means what? That means if I have an ascending chain of submodules, so uh, U1 u0 containing u1 u1 containing etc this is uh, ascending chain of some modules then it should become stationary after some stage so every this is stationary stationary means that after some stage it will become equal here, equal and the rest all are equal after that. Then you call that uh, ascending chain to be stationary and if we as ACC means every ascending chain of submodules is stationary, which is clearly equivalent to saying that every family of submodules of A submodules has a maximal element. has a maximal element, maximal with respect to the inclusion, with respect to the inclusion and also this is clearly equivalent to uh, the following that V is finitely generated, equivalently V is finitely generated. So, finite A module. Our convention is when I say module is finite, that means V is finitely generated module. So, these clearly are equivalent, I am not going to prove that. And the dual concept is Artinian. So, V is Artinian if and only if V has DCC. That means if you have a descending chain u0 containing u1 containing containing un containing un plus 1 this should become stationary that means after uh, some stage it becomes equality everywhere then you call it an artinian and i will say the ring is noetherian a ring A is Noetherian or Artinian if the A module A is Noetherian or Artinian, then you call the ring to be Noetherian or Artinian. So that means this equivalent is saying that an ideals in in uh, ideals have ACC, then you call the A ring uh, ring to be Noetherian. But that is equivalent to saying that all ideals are finitely generated, and Artinian means uh, decreasing sequence of ideals should become stationary. 
so now let us give some examples first so for example any field so examples fields they are no ethereum as well as artemian because the only sub modules are zero and uh, the whole uh, field so therefore uh, it, it's clearly that uh, the fields are no ethereum and artemian uh, more generally if you have a vector space our base ring is a vector space v then k vector space then v is no ethereum k module if and only if dimension of v is finite if and only if v is artemian k module so for a vector space no ethereum and artemian concept is same and it is equivalent to the dimension being finite all right now i want to show that uh, the next important observation i want to show that how do you test uh, ring is uh, the connection with the prime ideal so suppose i have a ring a and suppose a is artinian then every prime ideal p in a that is p belonging to spec of a is maximal that means in our notation spec of a equal to spm of a this is the set of maximal ideal this is the set of prime ideal and in general this inclusion is there this is always but we are proving equality so that means that we want to prove that every prime ideal is maximal so proof so let p be a prime ideal and to prove p is maximal we need to prove we will prove that a by p is a field that is the only way to prove some ideal is maximal or not so to prove it is a field we have to prove that every non zero element there has a inverse so start with a non zero element in a by p call it x i want to prove that x has a inverse all right so how do you prove that all right so just let us consider the map so consider lambda x this is a map from a by p to a by p the map is any y going to x times y it's a left multiplication by y this map <coughs> all right now this map is clearly injective lambda x is injective because this is an this is an integral domain so if x y goes to zero then only y has to be zero because x is already non zero element we have taken in this so therefore this map is injective since a by p is an integral domain now i claim that therefore lambda x is surjective because what is the image since image of lambda x is a submodule of a by p and a is artemian therefore this residue module is also artemian 
and therefore um, if I look at so this is true in general actually if you look at uh, if you have in general more generally if I have a homomorphism f of endomorphism of a module v and v is Artinian then it is surjective. So, I will leave that uh, for you to check. So, once it is lambda x is surjective that means what? That means 1 is in the image of lambda x, but that means 1 equal to lambda x of some y which is x y. So, that means this y is the inverse of x. So, therefore, y equal to x inverse and then we have finished proving that every prime ideal is maximal. Now, uh, now with this I want to prove the following theorem. The theorem is if you have a ring A, the following statements are equivalent. Number 1, A is noetherian and spec of A equal to SPM of A that means every prime ideal is maximal. The second statement is A is noetherian and Artinian as A modules. But this will mean the length of A as A module is finite because it satisfies ACC and DCC also. Okay. The third one is every finite a module V is noetherian and Artinian that is length of V is finite. So, the third statement says that every finite A module has a finite length and that is equivalent to saying that the base ring is noetherian and every prime ideal is maximum. Okay, fourth statement is there exists an A module V of finite length with an elator is 0. You see here this is very important. This fourth statement is about existence of a module of finite length with an elator 0 and the conclusion we are drawing about the ring A being noetherian or prime ideals being maximal and so on. Okay, so, how am I going to prove this? So, first note that A implies 1 implies 3 I have proved. I will explain you when and uh, 3 implies 2 is really trivial because every finite A module is noetherian and Artinian. But, so if you assume 3 and 2 is you want to prove no, a ring is noetherian and uh, Artinian. But, uh, ring is a finite module over itself. Therefore, I can apply this 3 to V equal to A and that will prove 2. 2 implies 4 is also trivial because uh, I will take V equal to A v is a module a itself then 2 says it is noetherian and artinian so length is finite so therefore i have a finite length module namely v equal to a and the annihilator of a as a module is 0 all right now how do i prove 1 implies 3 i want to recall so this is the proof of 1 implies 3 so what are we assuming we are assuming a is noetherian and uh, every prime ideal is maximal. This is what we are assuming. All right. Now, and what do you want to prove? I want to prove that every finite module V. So, to prove V finite A module, if V is a finite A module, which is which has a finite length then v has a finite length this is what we want to prove finite module has a finite length and we are assuming a is noetherian and so remember that we have proved when we discuss primary decomposition we have proved that if v is a finite module we can find a sequence like this uh, v 
n which is 0 contained in v1, contained in etc., contained in v, v n minus 1, this is v0 which is v such that the successive quotients v i by v i plus 1, these are isomorphic to a by p i, where p i is our prime ideals. So, think of this is a decreasing sequence and the successive quotients are a by p i, but now <coughs> prime ideals are maximal. Therefore, these are actually a by these are fields a by m i's. So, these are simple. So, therefore, successive quotients are simple. That means, this series is actually a composition series and therefore, the length is n. So, therefore, the, this, the sequence is a composition series. and hence and hence length of v as a module is the number of terms in that composition series which is n so that proves one implies three so we have proved one implies three 3 implies 2 and 3 implies, uh, 2 implies 4. Now, we want to prove 2 implies 1. What does 2 implies 1 says? 2 says we are assuming that A is Noetherian and Artinian as A module. So, that is length of A as A module is finite and from here I want to prove that A is Noetherian and every prime ideal is maximal. Okay, so, take a take here A is Noetherian is also given. So, Noetherian is given, the only thing I have to prove that pri every prime ideal is maximal and we have given the ring is Artinian. So, we have to prove that in an Artinian ring every prime ideal is maximal that is what we have just now proved. So, the proof is written here alright. So, that proves 2 implies 1 and now to complete the equivalence I only have to prove 4 implies 2 because if I prove 4 implies 2 already we have 2 implies 4. So, 2 and 4 are equivalent and 1 to 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 already we have proved. So, therefore, it remains to prove 4 implies 2, but 4 says what there exists an A module V of finite length and annihilator is 0 and we want to prove 2. 2 is A is Noetherian and Artinian as A module. So, that means we want to prove that the length of A is finite that means A has a composition series. So, let we are given in 4 there exists a module V of finite length and an later 0. So, take that module V. So, V is because it is finite length it is Noetherian and Therefore, V is finitely generated, therefore, V is generated by finitely many elements x1 to xn and now we are using this x1 to xn, I will define a linear map from A to V power n, we have a linear map namely uh, map that A to A x1 a x n v power n is the module v cross v cross v n times. So, look at a going to a x 1 a x n. This map is clearly injective. Why? Because when a goes to 0 that means all these components are 0 that means a annihilates x 1 a annihilates x 2 a annihilates x n, but then a will annihilate whole v because v is generated by x 1 to x n and therefore, because annihilator is 0 the only element which annihilates all these guys are the in the annihilator, but annihilator is 0. Therefore, the only element which goes to 0 is 0. So, that proves this map is injective. Therefore, 
via this map this is a injective modulo homomorphism therefore a is a submodule of v power n and we have proved we know that v is of finite length and therefore v power n is also finite length because you do it by induction see for example v2 this is v cross v and we have an exact sequence which connects v and v here to zero this is the projection map uh, v comma w goes to uh, v and this one is the inclusion map this one is the inclusion map that so the kernel should be equal to the image so therefore this map is uh, any uh, v or any w goes to 0 comma w this is this map so the kernel of this is precisely w equal to 0 which is the image of this so therefore this exact this sequence is exact so this has a finite length therefore v also has a finite length and because v has a fine so v has a finite length therefore the mid this has a finite length this has a finite length therefore the middle one has a finite length since this is finite that implies length of a v2 is finite and keep doing this so that will go length of a as a v power n is finite and but a is a submodule of this v power n so submodule of a finite length module is finite length that we have noted so this will imply length of a as a, a module is also finite and that proves this implication uh, 4 implies 2 of the this theorem so this theorem is very important uh, this is used many times in the proofs so now one important corollary i will write it down the corollary is if you have an integral domain a then the following statements are equivalent a is noetherian and every non zero prime ideal is maximal and second for every ideal a not zero a by a has a finite length this is also clear because what so let me write down the proof so we want to prove this say for example proof 1 in place 2 we have given a non zero ideal and looking at the ring a by a I want to prove that this ring has a finite length but so that I have to prove that by earlier theorem I will prove one that is a is noetherian so I have to prove this ring is noetherian and every prime ideal here is maximal so if you take any prime ideal here that is of the form p by a and p has to be non zero prime ideal in a because a is non zero and a is contained in p therefore this is non zero therefore p is non zero but we have given in one p is maximal then therefore we have proved that in this ring this is noetherian ring and every prime ideal is maximal here p by a is maximal therefore that implies 2 that it is finite length 2 implies 1 that we want to prove that a is noetherian and so this is same because uh, directly apply uh, directly apply uh, this is a finite length so we have a finite length module which is noetherian also and artinian also so therefore the ring is so the ring is noetherian and every prime ideal is maximum so that proves the corollary and with this I will stop this lecture because we have completed uh, uh, finite length modules and we will continue in the next lecture uh, the further discussion about the lectures.